Hi, I'm Jazz Rucker, and I teach music at Richardson Elementary School. <laughs> the main theme for this particular month was how do we honor and celebrate black people during Black History Month. And so everything that I'm doing has either come from uh, the black tradition or um, black authors or illustrators or black songs, black musicians, even black visual Ooh. artists. Swing and sing and baby says. And so I look at children's books and I look at spirituals and jazz and hip hop and R&B and all those things that are American musics that were created by black Americans. Um, and so then I'm tying those down into the lessons. Well, I ain't been to Frisco, I ain't been to school, I ain't been to college, but I ain't no fool to the front. All right, so we're doing blues chords today. We, we did that four corners thing yesterday, and today we're talking about the three chords in the blues progression. There's just so much out there. Our ability to stretch ourselves beyond our own preference of what we kind of get ourselves in a routine of listening to is important because then it creates um, a connection of experience to someone who um, either may have similarities to us, but I think more importantly will have differences from us. As a black person, I know that singing for me has been a refuge. Um, and so then being able to share that, that anyone can use singing as a refuge. Um, but for these specific genres like blues and jazz, this was a way for people to get through the uck of life. Of liberty, let our rejoicing rise. It's a way that even in times of struggle, to find normalcy. Let it resound loud as the rolling sea. Hello, everyone. My name is Angeline and I will be your virtual tour guide today. Let's go ahead and click on that first bullseye to begin. My name is Yvonne Medrano. I teach fourth grade online academy. We went on a virtual field trip, Selma to Montgomery. Today you'll explore the Jackson home, which was the official residence where world leaders resided while playing the monumental Selma to Montgomery march. I think these virtual field trips are really good for students and for adults to just put context into what we're talking about or what they see on TV or the books that we're reading. I was telling them like, this is a real life place. <laughs> I want you to take a look around and explore. And remember, these bullseyes are going to provide you with more information and in some case, videos. I stopped and reflected with students about what their thoughts were, how they're feeling. Now, Dr. Bunch and King were not the only two activists to stay in this home. Fourth graders, do you know what the Nobel Peace Prize is? Whenever you do something nice and kind, and it's not just, it won't be just for yourself. And if we start that young now, then I think as they get older, it's not so hard to, um, have those conversations to be vulnerable and to uh, share their e emotions and their feelings with others. We at Lee Summit Elementary wanted to create an authentic experience for our students to learn about black history. February is Black History Month and we set out to create a walking black history museum and so every single student and staff member in their classroom selected one influential black American to decorate the doors and hallways with and write about. We talked about some different options that, that we had and they, they definitely went for this one. We watched some different videos of interviews with Chadwick Boseman and how different people described him. So they picked character traits and then colored a mask that they thought went with that char character traits. So this one's imaginative, creative, courageous, leader. We did some directed drawings of Martin Luther King. We read Martin's Big Words, which is a, a very kid-friendly book about the life of Martin Luther King Jr. One of the quotes in there we really liked that said, love is the key to the problems in, of the world. My first graders chose Katherine Johnson because she was an amazing mathematician that helped our country get our first people on the moon. 